Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous winter night here in the soon to be shed hall town of Arcadia, Florida. I think it's 73 degrees right now at about 8 o'clock on an exciting Friday night where I have managed to go camping in the middle of a four-wheeler convention. I managed to reserve a campsite in the middle of about 10,000 clueless fucking morons with their goddamn ATVs. I'll try to bring you a rant about that firsthand tomorrow. So I am hiding out uh, at the library where I can finally get around to uh, doing what I do every Friday, and that's simply going on my email to bring you my <clears throat> ecological meltdown roundup rant to find out how this planet has been heading directly into a brick wall at 67,000 miles an hour while I have been heading directly into a brick wall myself at 67,000 miles an hour but we've been through that and deleted those videos so let's get back to the uh, 67,000 mile an hour brick wall collision that matters and that is the ecological meltdown roundup rant for this Friday January 18, 2019 and uh, I'm starving I still need to go find some food in this shithole town so I'm just gonna lump them all together and just uh, going to be skipping a whole lot. We're going to start out here on mongabay.com like I always do going around a <coughs> shithole planet. So what Manga Bay is going to be doing each week is updating us on the Bozo Naro catastrophe going down there in the shithole country of Brazil. So what's the weekly update from the newest, from the collapse of Brazil and the Amazon jungle? The Bozo Naro administration is barely two weeks old, but the new president and his appointees continue to make incendiary statements and press forward with measures and policies that could seriously infringe indigenous and agrarian reform land rights and environmental protections. No shit, Sherlock. Yes, Amazon land thieves have been emboldened since Bozo Naro's election. Uh, and they list all of these various land grabs going on all over Brazil and uh, Clearly, there has been no federal law enforcement response to land grab conflicts in Brazil since Bozo Naro was elected. No shit, Sherlock. Alright, as I say, guys, I've got, uh, literally need to get something on my plate tonight, so I'm, I'm gonna only get to about a third of these stories. Coffee in trouble, 60% of wild coffee species now threatened with extinction. Of the 124 species of wild coffee known to science, 75 of them, or 60%, are threatened with extinction due to deforestation, climate change, and the spread of diseases and pests, a new study has found uh, the wild relative of Arabica, the most widely traded coffee in the world, is in particular trouble. Uh, <clears throat> yep. Cell phones are still endangering gorillas. No shit, Sherlock. But recycling your old phone can help. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Yes. Uh, mining for coltan, gold, 
tin and other minerals used in electronics is a major factor in the decline of species like the Grower's Gorilla, which have lost habitat to the industry and are also hunted when forest is opened up for mining. No shit, Sherlock. But participating in cell phone recycling programs helps reduce the demand for mining in gorilla habitat. That was bullshit. So now this next one uh, is a uh, not as uh, I guess this is not fucked if you do or fucked if you don't. It's fucked if you do and if you don't. Uh, the planet is fucked whether or not you eat meat. I anyway, back to the shithole country of Brazil for this, uh, when you think about it, no shit Sherlock statement. Brazilians hunger for meat fattened on soy is deforesting the Cerrado. The Cerrado, Brazil's savanna, covers over 20% of the nation's territory, but it is seeing severe deforestation. And uh, the newest culprit, while just completely getting out of control, is soy uh, production. In 2017, Brazil produced 16.3 million tons of soy for its own domestic market and more than 90% of that became animal feed. Yes. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh boy. Next. Uh, Let's see, what's going on? We don't hear much about the shit old country of Guyana. Isn't that where the Jim Jones, that Kool-Aid thing happened? Anyway, Guyana signs on to forest management agreement with the EU. After six long years, Guyana has signed on to an agreement with the EU that should prove instrumental in securing a profitable position for the small Latin American country in the global legal logging industry. No shit, Sherlock. Yes. Uh, government leaders anticipate that the agreement will lead to improved forest management and a decrease in illegal logging. Bullshit detected. Take you know, th this whole goddamn thing about legal versus illegal logging is, is like the difference between stage 3 and stage 4 cancer. Uh, what, what the fuck? Legal logging in Guyana. Give me a fucking break. Uh, Jesus. Moving on. Uh, here's, uh, I didn't even realize there were bears in Vietnam. Uh, Anyway, the bears in Vietnam are fucked. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, all right. Wow. Ecosystem guardians remain passionate despite dicey conditions. Huh. A recent investigation has found that working conditions for wildlife rangers in Central America are difficult and, in some cases, dangerous. No shit, Sherlock. Yes, no shit, Sherlock. Okay, here is another major ivory bust 
in China in the uh, shithole town of Shudong, which receives up to 80% of all illegal ivory from Africa. So now they'll just move it to some other shithole city. Yes. Uh, I've mentioned this one before uh, in my We Are So Fucked headlines, but this is manga based spin on it. Antarctica now shedding ice six times faster than in 1979. No shit, Sherlock. Yes. Through 1990, the continent lost 40 billion metric tons per year. And then between 2009 and 2017, that figure jumped to 252 billion metric tons annually. Well, you'll never believe this uh, headline from the shithole country of Sumatra. Do you realize that palm oil companies continue to criminalize farmers in Sumatra? Sometimes, even when villagers are harvesting their own palm oil, the, these big palm oil giants call the cops and accuse them of stealing their palm oil. They then say they will only release them if they hand over their lands to the company. Oh, I get it. Yes, another literal land grab. Uh, here in the shithole country of Indonesia, with its 3.8 billion mine takeover, Indonesia inherits a $13 billion pollution problem. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can, this story all over the planet, uh, <laughs> it's called Fleas Come With The Dog, guys. D, 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 um, let's see, there is so much, uh, we don't want to hear much from the shithole country of Malta, but you will be shocked to hear that in Malta, legal, lo legal loopholes, legal loopholes give poachers cover to hunt migratory birds. No shit, Sherlock. In Malta, poachers kill or capture up to 200,000 wild birds every year. And this is a problem widespread across the Mediterranean, which is a major migration corridor. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's see. I've mentioned this one before, but I'm just going to wind up Manga Bay here because I'm really getting hungry and I don't know when this battery is going to run out. You can only put so much doom and gloom into one day of shopping for real estate in South Florida uh, in one day. I, uh, <clears throat> so let's wrap up Manga Bay here. Ocean warming projected to accelerate more than fourfold over the next 60 years. No shit, Sherlock. Yes, 2017 currently holds a record for hottest ocean temperatures, but 2018 is likely to take the top spot as the hottest year on record for the Earth's oceans as global warming's impacts accelerate. Um, and the oceans will warm at an even more rapid pace over the next 60 years if we proceed with business as usual, which we're not going to. We're only going to ramp up business as unusual. The upper ocean will warm six times more than the total ocean warming recorded over the past 60 years. Yes. 
Anyway. <clears throat> no shit, Sherlock. Okay. I think uh, it is the those eco Nazis at the Washington Post uh, staying kind of in the same vein again. I've mentioned these stories. This is the Washington Post spin on it. Ice loss from Antarctica has sextupled since the 1970s. Alarming new research shows that the massive East Antarctica ice sheet is already a major contributor to sea level rise. No shit, Sherlock. Then they have a couple of articles about this goddamn planet eater, this Andrew Wheeler guy who makes uh, that Scott Pruitt clown uh, look like uh, look, look like. <clears throat> Fucking uh, who? Uh, Derek Jensen in comparison. My God, this guy. Uh, Trump's EPA pick vows to advance a deregulatory agenda. No shit, Sherlock. And then a look at this. Uh, at the government shutdown, national parks should be closed, ex-interior officials say, to avoid destruction of property and a new problem in our national parks, poaching, where poachers are just going out there killing everything with no, uh, no one to uh, bother them. Uh, <coughs> what's going on? in the minuscule former Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. Trump shrank this national monument to spur a mining boom. But will those lost protections yield real profits? I think we all know the answer to that question. It'd be interesting to see how this next story plays out. Uh, PG&E to file for bankruptcy following devastating California wildfires. The energy giant could be held liable for more than $30 billion uh, from, you know, those, those wildfire damages. Uh, that, that, that'll be a fun one to watch. Wow. Trump's newest executive order will aggressively cut more forest trees. The president is intent on pushing up timber sales in spite of the government shutdown. No shit, Sherlock. Yes, the... Uh, the loggers are alive and well. Uh, anyway, let's wrap up over here at Center for Biological Diversity's Endangered Earth with this headline from Mars. Most protected marine mammals and sea turtles recovering. Bullshit level, DEFCON 5. So, you know, what, what this is about is, you know, another, and, you know, guys, there's two ways to read this. There's the, uh, there's the regular environmentalist way, and there's the doomer way that, yes, the Endangered Species Act uh, looking at the track record since 1979 is certainly one of the most important uh, wildlife protection laws on the planet. Uh, and they're citing all these cases where it's actually, uh, actually doing what it's intended to do. But of course, uh, Donald Trump and, uh, and the Republicans in Congress are completely doing a hatchet job 
on uh, the Endangered Species Act and the planet will do its own hatchet job soon enough. 626 groups urge Congress to phase out fossil fuels. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. Yes. Uh, our letter calls for a phase out of fossil fuel production, a transition to 100% renewable energy by 2035, complete decarbonization of the transportation system, and a shift to a new green economy. I think I've already covered that story, but it <coughs> never fails to hit the bullshit detector button. From the bullshit detector button to the no shit Sherlock button, borderland barriers already wreaking havoc. Hmm. Is it a wall or a fence? Should it be made of steel or concrete? Don't get distracted by these political semantics. No matter what it's called or made out of, it is a massive obstruction that wreaks havoc on people, wildlife, and the environment. No shit, Sherlock. G -G. And I'm down here. I need to do a, a rant on orange groves. I'm down here in the middle of these orange groves. And here we go. Uh, a letter on orange groves. Two, and then uh, two stories from Florida right next, uh, right next door to each other. Just say no to oranges on drugs. And this is... Uh, now Trump's EPA is opposed to proving streptomycin, a critically important antibiotic, uh, as a pesticide on all U.S. citrus trees. Huh. And this will... All right. It will increase antibiotic resistance bring on the streptomycin. Finally, uh, the Environmental Protection Agency doing something to protect the environment by increasing uh, antibiotic resistance, which is already uh, resulting in 23,000 deaths each year. But of course, the bad news is, is that this is not limited the danger is not limited to humans, but uh, the impacts of the widespread spraying will likely reach pollinators like bees and small critters like chipmunks and rabbits. Uh, and then here's an article. I need to do a first person on this. It's here. It is January, and I, and they were talking about this uh, on the radio today on the local NPR station about Florida's red tide and green algae woes. Uh, Flor Floridians are living with an unwelcome Christmas-colored water crisis. Uh, Harmful algae blooms in rivers and red tides in the ocean will persist. Uh, and, and I hear that they never really went away. You know, it was 82 degrees in, Ar in Sarasota today. Uh, so they're already, here it is, January 18th. And they're talking about the 2019 red tide season uh, one hour from here. I will uh, try to bring us a, uh, a first person. Uh, the question being asked, is cheap wine bad for the planet? Whether it's cheap or not, wine takes a big environmental toll at all steps of its production and distribution from vineyards displacing habitat to pesticides harming pollinators. 
no shit, Sherlock. But we're going to end with this week. So you thought I was going to get through an ecological meltdown roundup rant without a uh, faster than previously thought or worse than previously thought, I guess. Uh, I'm going to wrap up with today's worse than previously thought uh, story of the week. The U.S. has less groundwater than we thought. No shit, Sherlock. A new study reveals that certain areas in the U.S. don't have as much usable fresh water as previously believed. Hmm. Aquifers in various places in the eastern and central parts of the country become salty or become salty at much shallower depths than we thought. And that is a problem the oil and gas industry could make even worse as it injects wastewater back into the ground. No shit, Sherlock. And with that worse than previously thought story of the week, I'm going to wrap up this week's edition of our... Yes, of our ecological meltdown roundup rant and go find the local watering hole in Arcadia, Florida. Uh, see what trouble I can get to on Friday night. I will try to bring you a first person report of the invasion of the clueless fucking morons along the banks of the Peace River this weekend. Smoke them if you got them, and we all know why. Bye, guys.